Good afternoon world and welcome to this highly requested Starlink Philippines 90 day review test. Starlink internet is like the Tesla of internet and it's a hot topic here in the Philippines right now. As somebody who's been using this for 90 days now straight, I'm gonna give you a things I wish I knew before we purchased. I'm just gonna to be totally honest about what it's done for us here on this island. So who are we? First of all, let me introduce ourselves. My family and I moved to the Philippines three years ago during the pandemic. We didn't plan to stay here, but we had such a good time in the country and we were so welcomed by the people here that we decided to make a life here. We are a British family that has been living on the island of Shargao, out in the provinces, island life. I've got a daughter who is seven years old almost. Well, she's six and a half. And we are currently living in this off-grid, solar-powered house here on the island. It is amazing here. Okay, so let's start with things I wish I knew. When we bought this kit, it was priced at 29,000 pesos. 999 for the kit, all the wires, the modem, everything, all in, delivered from America to our door, all in. And I thought that was a really good price. Unfortunately for me, literally a week later, they dropped the price of this in the Philippines down to 19,000 pesos. So we actually should have just waited one more week and we would have saved 10,000. That current deal at the time of publishing this video is still on. So if you want to get the full Starlink kit, it's only 19,999 pesos, which I think is absolutely a steal. I'm going to touch on a few downsides about it before we get into the real details. This is an off-grid kit. The internet is coming directly from the satellites right up there in space down to here and into our house. So we are pretty much self-sufficient with this thing as long as you can get power and power is a problem on an island like this. So if there are any power cuts which happen often on this island, this thing will turn off and then we'll need to turn on again and reset. And sometimes that can take like up to five minutes, normally shorter, but it can be a problem. If you have constant blips in power interruption, then you will always, always have this thing resetting, resetting, which is a bit annoying, but there is a solution for that, which I'll show you later. Another thing is you are at the mercy of the weather here. If it is really rainy and cloudy in the sky, it will affect your speed from the satellite down to the dish. Luckily, we haven't had that much rain, but we will update you more on that when it gets to the full rainy season. So far, we've had very little problems with the connection to the actual satellite. All right, now I wanna talk about some of the best things about this. Look at the build quality of this thing. This has been up on our roof now for over 90 days. I have not touched it since I installed it. And, you know, it's got a few cobwebs on the thing, but this has been in the rain, it's been in wind, it's been in sunshine, and everything looks really, really good. Look, if even if you look at the bolts, probably the bolts have fared the worst versus the actual mounting itself. And the actual satellite, the dish, is pretty much in the same condition that I left it in 90 days ago. And I haven't looked at this since. So this Starlink setup is very low maintenance. I haven't had to really do anything. And also they have a really, really simple app which helps you set the thing up in like next to no time, to be honest. As soon as you put your payment through on the system on the website, they deliver it to your address. They take payments out of the same cards that you ordered it from. So you don't need to set up like an additional account or anything. Just whatever you use to buy the kit is how you pay for this thing monthly. It opens a Starlink account for you as soon as you put in your details to buy the thing. And you really don't have to think about it much afterwards. It all comes out automatically. It's delivered automatically. And it's really, really set up to make life easy for you. Obviously the main thing you guys are all waiting for is a speed test. So I'm gonna do that downstairs so I get a stronger signal from the modem. Right now I'm just up here checking on our solar our off-grid setup. Makes sense to do the two things at the same time. But I will jump down to give you the best result possible so you can see the speed of this thing. Okay, so I'm closer to the modem down here. So I mentioned before the Starlink app, I'm gonna show you how easy this thing is to use and how intuitive it is. It's really cool interface. I know I showed this in the last video, but everything has just been so simple to manage. I can see that our system is online, network statistics there, all the technical stuff. I can see how many devices are on the system right now. There's seven devices running simultaneously. I can see whether our satellite is being obstructed or not. It tells you there your Starlink has an unobstructed view of the sky. All right, so let's get into the speed test. All right, keep in mind there are seven devices running currently on this system. And even with seven devices running, we're getting, that's oh, not bad, man, look at that. 100 and 
51 and what's the upload it's gonna be 20 that's not bad also take, take a note of that latency and I'll explain that later I just did a second test there I'm getting 141 and if you're feeling super nosy you can even do an advanced speed test which gives you even more information let's check that out so this is basically our dish to the satellite in the sky we're getting these kind of speeds there you saw it over 200 download over 30 upload that's really good and then the next thing it tells you is how fast your device is connecting to the router inside the house and it compares those two together on a graph so we've had absolutely no issues running all of our computers our devices uploading youtube videos watching hd youtube and watching netflix in the highest possible quality which is something that used to be a struggle before. So our Netflix days are much better now. I just heard my dad talking about internet stuff. So it's the perfect time for Surfshark Poppy to talk about today's video sponsor, Surfshark VPN. And I talk about Surfshark all the time. But did you know it actually masks what you do online? That means nobody can see what you're up to when you're on the internet. To be honest, what you do online is your private business. Nobody should be snooping on you. Using a VPN blurs out your data so no one can see what you're accessing or where from. Basically, in this day and age, everybody can see what you're doing online. Believe it or not, you're not very private when you're on the internet. Unless you use a VPN, that's why I use one. My choice is Surfshark. You know why? Because one subscription covers all my devices. That means I can share my subscription with my family and everybody can be private on the internet. I don't know about you, but what I look up on the internet is my business. I don't want anyone having a look at that. My privacy is important, and so should yours be, especially if you're thinking of going on the public Wi-Fi. Anybody can snoop on you over there. And if you want to take your internet security and privacy to the next level, you can consider Surfshark One. It's a security add-on that gives you access to Surfshark Search. You can browse without a trace. You don't get any of those annoying personalised ads and you get truly organic results. That means what you type in is what you get. And if you were wondering, can Surfshark actually store the data that you're looking at online? Guess what? They don't. They use 100% RAM-only servers. That means once the server's turned off, it gets deleted. They don't care what you're up to. And that's why I like them. So do me a favour. Check out this QR code coming up on the screen. Give it a scan and it will take you to our promo code. Or you can just type in 8 miles at the checkout and you'll get 3 months extra for free. And guess what? If you don't like it, you get 30 day money back guarantee. So you've got nothing to lose. Anyway, I can hear my dad coming back in so I'm going to quickly close my screen. Surfshark might be able to protect my data online, but it can't protect you from roving eyes. Bye! So even Poppy's happy with this setup. When I told my landlady about the internet, she also got herself a Starlink satellite put up on her roof so that her guests who stay over at this house can enjoy the unlimited internet and the speed of fast internet here in this location, which is fairly remote. And my Ate Mary Jane, she had no clue how to set this thing up. She wasn't even here. And I just told her, you know, the basics and her, me and one of the guys here managed to put the thing up in no time. The hardest thing was drilling it onto the roof but apart from the actual setup itself, plugging it in, it's pretty much plug and play. Okay, let's talk about some of the downsides. Right here is the Starlink modem, the router that sits inside the house that comes with the kit. And it's not that powerful. And what I mean by that is that breaking through concrete walls, you have to be smart where you place it. In a house of this size, which is about 80 square meters, just having it centrally placed so that it doesn't have to go through two sets of walls is enough but maybe I'm losing signal when I go around two corners and into a bathroom. So if you want to have your signal stretch throughout your entire property and you've got multiple floors, you either have to put it in just the right place or you have to invest in a dongle that comes on the website that allows you to connect different routers and Wi-Fi extenders onto your Starlink kit. The kit that it comes with, you can't attach anything extra to it. There's no space for it, there's no plug hole for it. You have to get the dongle, which then allows you to ethernet connect 
to aftermarket routers, which is a bit cheaper than let's say buying loads of these ones, which would connect wirelessly. I also think that the upload speed is a bit average. You saw when I did the speed test, it is way different to the speed that you get when you're downloading. And it's not far off what we used to get. So in terms of how quickly we can put our videos online, the main benefit to us is that it's now Unli internet, which means completely unlimited. It's true Unli as well. There's no cap no cap on speed, no cap on anything. They don't thr throttle your bandwidth. You can just go, go, go. I also mentioned briefly on the roof that if there's a power interruption, your satellite resets. So we had to buy one of these things. It's called a UPS or an uninterruptible power supply. I got it from Lazada for about 1200 pesos. And what it does is you plug your Starlink kit into it and it's essentially a big battery. So if there's a power cut or a blip in the power supply, it will keep it running for a little bit until your power comes back on. So even though we've got a full solar panel system on our roof, sometimes when there's a switch between the grid and the offline power, it cuts out for a microsecond and our Starlink would have to reset every time that happens. So if there's a lot of fluctuations happening on the island, you have to get one of those things to sort that out, make things a little bit more usable. Okay, let's talk money. So we pay 2,700 pesos per month to have this Unli internet, and we use about 500 gigabytes of data. So if we compare that to what we used to use before, which is the Globe at Home prepaid Wi-Fi, where we had to buy gigabytes by the packet, it is much cheaper for us because of how much data we use for our work and for our entertainment. So to prove that, I'm gonna to go to the Globe app and show you what we used to buy. We used to use this packet here, HomeSurf 1499. You can see you would get up to 150 gigs for 1,400 pesos. So if we were using 500 gigs, you do the math on that. We're already spending way more and it was much slower and much less reliable as well. A lot of you guys asked about reliability as well. So you can even check that, you can see how long the thing's been offline in the last few days. It's been offline for 16 seconds. And finally, I mentioned briefly up on the roof about latency, why it's important. Satellite internet used to be terrible for bad latency. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> but now with the amount of satellites they've got up in the sky, it's actually under 40 milliseconds, which is considered an excellent amount. So that affects things like when you have a video call, or if you're doing gaming, like the time it takes from when you press your button to so an action happening on the internet and back. So have you found that it's made like video calls any better? Yeah, I would say they're, they're quicker, more, less um, stopping. Delays. Yeah, delay, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> I find it smoother. Like yeah. I've had much better calls since we've had Starlink than when before when we had the other one. Yeah, yeah, I would say that as well. I mean, I just, I do quite a lot of video calls to family, my mum, my dad. So yeah, I, I have noticed that it is a lot sharper as well. That, you mm. know, like it's just clearer. Images clearer. Yeah. Yeah, we have less like uh, cutouts as well. And definitely if you guys are interested in gaming, which I know a lot of you guys are, it is excellent for that because the latency is super low. Anyway, this was a long video. I talked a lot. There was a lot of technical stuff that you guys <laughs> have been asking me. Please tell me more about Starlink. Give us a detailed kind of real life test review. I've been honest about it. Not being sponsored by Starlink at all. We bought this with our own money. And like I mentioned before, if only we waited one more week, it would have been like 10,000 pesos cheaper. So as it currently <laughs> no, stands- You wouldn't know, would you? No, you, no, no way I would have known that. But I mean, as it currently stands, it is still 19,999 pesos. Do I think it's worth it? Yes, what do you think? Yeah, I would say yes, it's definitely. Reduced our monthly bill down yeah. by loads, especially because we use so much mm -hmm. data and yeah. it's just super reliable. Yeah. And so much so that my landlady got it too. So <laughs> yeah, I approve. <laughs> yeah. uh, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you're interested in signing up for Surfshark at Poppy's request, <laughs> there's a link in the description below and we will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.